Welcome back, um, Trade Travel Troopy. I know this is not a pleasant topic, but uh, I'm just putting this out here on the internet for anybody to download in case anything should happen to me. But here it is, sending this to Michelle Landry. Here's the date, September 22nd, 2020. Alright, so this was actually sent to both Michelle Landry and Michael Copley QC, right? Hello, Mr. Copley. Please read this in entirety. I'm writing to inform you that earlier today I received a phone call from Queensland Police stating that you believe that I, Rowan Maxim, am harassing you via phone and as such, I have been given a verbal warning and threatened with further prosecution to no longer call you on the phone, to which I am agreeing under duress to do. You could have simply said so yourself instead of hanging up and hope we would forget what you have done and have your friends do your dirty work for you. However, I agree to not call you anymore. You will not receive any more phone calls from me wanting to discuss the reasoning behind why you would stand in court and defend a Rockhampton school teacher with a collection of over 700 images and videos of raping and torturing children as young as five years old. And allow this person to be free in the community, but it's became obvious. You've drawn attention to yourself, Michael Copley, QC. There are people raping five-year-olds, and you personally are responsible for these people being free to continue, with no punishment for their heinous crimes. Do you not understand, or, as one might be inclined to suspect now, encourage this behaviour, that is, the rape of children? This is a key question, Mr. Copley. I would like some clarification on this issue. It seems strange you would consider three phone calls as harassment and then advocate for pedophiles, much less a school teacher to not serve a single day in prison. Then again, in 2015, I see a Mr. Copley defending a pedophile uncle who raped his two nieces for years since they were five-year-old little girls, who pleaded guilty to six charges and a certain Mr. Copley defended this person in court and he walked a free man as well. Was this your work, Michael? Are you the same Mr. Copley? And if so, are you proud of assisting this predator being free to roam the world? Or, in 2016, I see a Mr. Copley noted as defending a father in Mackay, Queensland, convicted of molesting his own daughter aged 12 years old. Was this also the same Mr. Copley? Was this you, Michael? Now... Your nice policeman friend who called me said that you were just doing your job and that he himself is just doing his job. I would never do the job of protecting pedophiles and I can't understand why anyone would want to. However, <sighs> fucking hell. Also of great interest is that in 2012, a Michael Copley is council assisting the Queensland Child Protection Commissioner. Tim Carmody, so it's hardly surprising that after giving opening statements and only one hour in, this commission of inquiry hit a roadblock. Weird coincidence? If my suspicions are correct, the council assisting the Child Protection Commissioner has, on several occasions before and since, defended pedophiles that plead guilty and successfully argued that they should serve no jail time and are immediately released back into the community. Please correct me if I am wrong in this assumption. The child protector is also the multiple time protector of rapist pedophiles. <coughs> if this is simply mistaken identity on my part, and there is more than one Michael Copley in this list, and these aren't all your work, please do let me know. Because again in 2015, Michael Copley is counsel assisting the Organised Crime Commission of Inquiry, in which Chapter 4 is all about online child exploitation. Organised crime indeed. There are other cases I found quickly via Google search and attached to this email, 2017 and Mr Copley standing with and defending a man who pleaded guilty to manslaughter of a 16-year-old girl and dumping the body, lying and trying to get away with it. 
Anyway, the nice policeman who called me today says that if I have an issue with pedophiles being allowed to hunt their prey in Australia, that I should take it up with my local member. Funny that, I do have an issue. I think we both know how far that will go since over 3,900 people gave testimony at the Woods Royal Commission and when the findings came out that at least 28 persons of interest were named for being suspected pedophiles, including top judges, politicians and a former Prime Minister, what justice was served? That's right, they may just made a, 70, a 90 year suppression order about it, covering it up to protect themselves and their friends well into the future, picture attached. And to this day, only one person has questioned this in Parliament, Bill Heffernan in 2015. Zero, not one other politician has ever brought it up or said they are against covering up for pedophiles, so I don't hold a high faith my local member being too concerned on the issue, no. Interestingly, my local member Michelle Landry is Assistant Minister for Children and Families. So I have also sent this email to her to see what kind of response entails. Care to guess? Filth protects filth, it seems. Dimolay from top to bottom, we see you and your secrets are no longer hidden in plain sight. Police still refuse to investigate Alan Maxwell McIntyre and all that goes with the Beaumont children disappearance all those years ago, despite first-hand evidence and sworn testimony of satanic ritual abuse and burial sites for years and years from this prolific pedophile's own daughter. Protect and serve? Protect and serve, all right. We know who gets protected and who gets served. We know about Judge David Yeldham, the former QC, and Scott Morrison's daddy, John Morrison, Chief of Police and Waverley Mayor back in the days of the Durrick Boys' Home, and Costello's in Sydney. We know. We know about Paul Keating and his daughter being with Mr. Jeffrey Epstein and Prince Andrew. We know about the media, we know about Channel 9, we know Bert Newton and friends, etc, etc. It is a long list of filth. Anyway, I'm not here to tell you anything new. This is all old and it's fucking disgusting. I hope you read this in entirety and it makes you have a good think about the life you've chosen to live, Michael Copley. The children you've played a part in harming and continue to be harmed as you go about your business, doing your best to let as many pedophiles free as you possibly can, it would seem. If slash when you show this email to email to the friendly police as a evidence of harassment, you don't cowardly delete the 19 attached images. Think about what real harassment is, Mr. Coffley. Receiving questions in emails or uncomfortable phone calls, or being raped and tortured as a child by an adult, suffering for a lifetime, and then, if on the rare chance your abuser ever gets a day in court, have someone like yourself defend them and their crimes and allow them freedom to continue without penalty. Unacceptable. I'm well aware the judges have the final decisions of the rulings and it's blatantly obvious why such lenient sentences are so routinely dismissed. There are many questions in this email that you could choose to answer and defend yourself and explain your actions that I've pointed out. If indeed it is you in all of these cases defending pedophiles, rapists and killers... I'm not saying it is for sure. Just someone with the same name and job. You could not be a coward and answer the questions, or you could continue to pretend nobody knows that the public are none the wiser to what goes on. We aren't, Michael. Please note that today's verbal warning from police only mentioned that I not call you via phone, so that is why I am writing to you via email until further th advice slash threats slash intimidation, slash warnings from your friends again. You're only drawing more light on this darkness. When a dog bites a child and scars it for life, the dog is put down, destroyed to prevent others from suffering the same painful fate. Defending the actions of child predators is unacceptable. I hope one day you will see the harm you are so enthusiastically advocating for, Michael Copley. Australians do not tolerate pedophiles. Or worse, those who protect such filth. Regards, Rowan Maxim, right? So, that's the end of that. Of course, I got no response from him, or Michelle Landry, or the police, or anybody else. Because, you know, what do you say? It's alright here. Two minutes on Google. Look at this fucking disgusting. Disgusting. Look. 